It is still natural to become a Catholic priest in Rome in a way that it is not in, in America. And so that, that line has stuck with me and has helped me approach and understand Christian nationalism in the sense that uh, many people who, are, who would be tagged as Christian nationalists and may even identify that way themselves, they probably have the, the same basic impulses of tens of millions of Americans uh, 50 years previous, but in a different cultural milieu, they felt no mm-hmm. need to identify as Christian nationalists. Now that the background has changed, like if you if you are swimming and the the current that you're swimming against goes from one mile an hour to five mile an hour, you have to swim five times as hard to just stay even. And so I would expect that millions of American Christians or those who just feel some kind of kinship with with Christianity, they feel the the current in wider society flowing against them in a way that I would presume that Americans in the 1950s did not, and so they have to compensate to just try to stay even and their compensation is now called christian nationalism which in one sense seems completely radical and out of step with the the main direction of christianity in this country for 230 years but the environment that uh, these people are swimming in has completely changed and it's become understandable uh, now that what we call christian nationalists and it's called a scary thing it's a reaction to this this tide that we're swimming in which is increasingly flowing against, say, public displays of Christianity.